China has secretly conducted a successful test of the most advanced and sophisticated hypersonic missile that circle around the world in low Earth orbit, before entering into atmosphere and moving towards its target at hypersonic speed. The kind of hypersonic missile test conducted by China is demonstrating an advanced space capability. The demonstration caught the U.S. intelligence agencies by surprise and caused ripples across the U.S. defense policymakers. The inability of the United States to detect or monitor this hypersonic missile through its space-based assets or land-based interlinked missile early warning systems is extremely worrying for the Pentagon, which already spends billions of dollars on the said technology. At the same time it tells us the fact that China has made astounding progress in the field of hypersonic weapons program and is well ahead of its adversaries. Just like the traditional ballistic missiles, the hypersonic missiles can also carry nuclear warheads, but at the same time it can fly as fast as Mach 5, means it can travel five times the speed of sound. But unlike the ballistic missiles, which are flying high into space in an arc to reach its target, the hypersonic missile's trajectory is in low atmosphere, potentially reaching its target more quickly which gives less time for enemy to respond. Moreover, a hypersonic missile is maneuverable and moves in zigzag trajectory, which makes it even more harder for defense systems to track and defend against it. The Chinese hypersonic glide vehicle was carried by Long March rocket into low Earth orbit. This launch surprised U.S. intelligence agencies, military planners, and caused panic among the U.S. political leaders because it confirmed the worrying fact which many military analysts have been saying for a long time, that China's hypersonic missile program is well ahead of the U.S. However, even the most pro-China defense experts never anticipated it to be this much advanced as compared to the U.S. hypersonic weapons program. This test occurred at time when tensions between U.S. and China are at all-time high over Taiwan's independence, and United States' formation of the anti-China alliances such as Quad Group and the AUKUS alliance. The U.S. government spokesperson condemned the test saying that, we are very concerned about China's development of China's hypersonic missile technology with nuclear capacity. He further added that, neither we, nor Russia or China has the capability to defend against that type of threat, that's why I believe it will destabilize the regional peace and security. Since early 2000s, China has been rapidly developing and modernizing its missile capabilities. After suffered humiliation at the hand of U.S. carrier force during the first Taiwan Strait crisis, Beijing began developing an anti-access area denial as well as nuclear deterrent, and experts believe their development of hypersonic technology is part of the deterrent strategy. The Chinese military modernization for now is primarily aimed at preparation for keeping the U.S. carrier fleets at bay while they conduct a possible invasion of Taiwan. This nuclear-capable hypersonic missile test has achieved the exact same deterrent China has been hoping for. In case of a Chinese invasion of Taiwan, the policymakers in Washington will consider a possible Chinese hypersonic nuclear strike against its mainland, before sending its carriers across the Pacific Ocean to defend its allies. The balance of power in the region had shifted sharply in favor of the United States and her allies after the announcement of Quad and AUKUS alliances aimed at containing China. However, with recent developments, it seems China has rolled back the recent gains by the allies in Asia-Pacific. Apart from China, five other countries are also developing their hypersonic weapons program, they are the United States, France, India, North Korea, Iran, and the United Kingdom. But it is believed that the hypersonic programs of these powers are not matured yet. That's all on the topic for now. Be sure to subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos and updates. Take care and have a great day.